Hello, world. It's John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant video blogger, and I am here with Bob Johnson. All things home guard, a home warranty. How are you today, Bob? Great, John. How about you? I love your I'm background. Doing, I'm doing fine and dandy. Thank you. The uh, Sheridan Palace uh, uh, Garden Court in the Sheridan Palace Hotel on Market Street. It's a great place to have brunch. I don't know if they're open or not uh, right now. Now, Bob, by the way, uh, your uh, wife and children uh, called me and they said, thank you for having these videos. We never realized that our husband knew so much. If we did realize that, we would have been listening to him these last few decades. What do you think of that, Bob? Thanks very much. I appreciate it. I might, I might have some influence over my grandkids that way. So well done. <laughs> But we did get that uh, feedback uh, from the uh, stuff we're doing with Ted on the natural hazard disclosures. The uh -huh. feedback he's getting is everybody saying, wow, we didn't know you knew so much. <laughs> Raphael, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for having us. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, so, no, so today we're going to talk about uh, washer and dryer uh, home warranty uh, coverage. And, uh, you know, I can't help but... Uh, do an overlay of my own personal situation as uh, every day I hope that uh, all the accumulated lint in my duct work doesn't set my dryer, my utility room, and the front part of my house on fire. And I'm always amazed that those old uh, hoses and gaskets on the washing machine don't blow and flood the whole uh, lower or upper level, depending upon where your utility room is. Right. Uh, so why don't you enlighten us, Bob, on uh, uh, two of the more poor stepchildren of the real estate transaction and home warranty transaction, uh, washer and dryer home warranty coverage and maintenance. Great. Well, yeah, washers and dryers uh, usually are a forgotten stepchild. You're right. Um, they're not involved in all transactions because the washer and dryer coverage covers the main components, the motors and the main components of the washer and dryer. Uh, wash and dryer coverage with home warranty companies does not cover the little cosmetic things. I have had calls about, hey, the, the washing machine got dented. Is it working? Yes, it's working fine, but it, there's just a dent in it. Uh, so warranty companies don't cover cosmetic issues or maintenance issues. So like that linfin filter, John, you're gonna to have to clean that yourself. We're not gonna be able to send an appliance <laughs> guy out to clean your lint filter. Um, but you, you know, if you do those regular maintenance things, you shouldn't have any problems with it. But on the coverage, you're right, it's missed. Um, most warranty companies, just to inform our listeners, uh, the washer and dryer is, um, coverage is supposed to be transferred from the seller to the buyer. So that would be usually immediate coverage for the washer and dryer. There are some companies out there that you can get home cards the same way. You can get washer dryer coverage, even if it's not transferred with the property. When the buyer moves in, they can get coverage for their washer and dryer. But there would be a 30 day wait for that coverage to start. Uh, and the reason warranty companies do that is we want to make sure that being frank, we, we can't be defrauded. We can, we've priced our, our policies and our coverages to cover things that break due to normal wear and tear and break during your time of using it. Uh, so washers and dryers that are brought in, they're not working to begin with. They just spend $75 or in that ballpark to get washer dryer coverage and want the warranty company to come out and spend a thousand dollars to give them new washers and dryers. Uh, that's not what the coverage is for. And that's why warranty companies will put a 30 day hold on things that are not transferred with the sale. Very good. So uh, let's talk a little bit about a little bit of a weak link in the real estate transaction. Okay. The most vigilant of uh, listing agents and buyer agents are going to have home guard do a roof inspection, a termite inspection, a home inspection. Mm -hmm. They will have um, a home guard do a one year home warranty. They'll include the refrigerator, the washer, and the dryer. The weak link is other than the seller's disclosure statement not indicating that they've had any kind of a problem running the washer and the dryer. 
nobody is really verifying the condition of the washer and the dryer or whether or not it's working. It just has been working. Nobody really knows. Mm -hmm. So can you enlighten us uh, by way of maybe a war story on, uh, because I'm amazed in 47 years in the real estate business mm -hmm. that I haven't had that problem come up more often, even at all, if I could even remember it, but, uh, you have a confluence of events and nobody's really inspecting the washer and dryer. You have mm -hmm. the warranty on it. So help us out. Do you have a good war story for us? Well, yeah, good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> the good is because it, it did happen. So I can, I can speak uh, when I speak in front of agents uh, and talk to them, I, I can give them examples, but you're right. Uh, where unfortunately the issue happens, uh, and can be a little tension creating. We send out the technician, we send out the appliance repair man who has all the experience on the, these situations and we've called and the washer's not working and he'll go out and he'll give us his report. And we will have technicians who will go out and say, you know, this thing hasn't worked in a long time. Or I actually have had a situation where the technician went out and said, this is actually missing a part. And so we have to have that discussion with the homeowner that we do realize you got coverage for this. However, warranty companies only cover things that break due to normal wear and tear after the policy went into effect and our technician is giving us a specific report. And so that's when that discussion and, and kind of when warranty companies are in a position to uh, deny a claim because of the report of the technician. Now let's you know, go to the other point and this is where audience and I really appreciate everyone watching the video blogs that we're doing and educating yourselves. If you're a homeowner listening, you want to do business with John and the people that watch these videos because they stay up on education. I have had discussions with agents who might be new and not have the education where they think that if it falls under a home inspection as something that does not work, they can just get a warranty and the warranty company will come in and fix or replace all the items on the inspection report that don't work. And no warranty company does that. All the warranty companies state that they cover items that are working properly at the time the policy goes into effect. So I will there's refer a couple people, different situations. Yeah, I will refer happen. people to our Oy Vey, that's insurance fraud video uh, <laughs> that we did last month right. where you, you can't do that. So, so all that said, I'm going to think if uh, you are a buyer and there's a washer and dryer involved, mm -hmm. you might want to get down and dirty with your flashlight and... Uh, you know, crawl on top of and look behind the washer and dryer, try to make a little bit of an assessment, uh, make sure you do have the coverage uh, for the washer and dryer on the home warranty and, uh, and uh, specifically look closely at the seller's transfer disclosure statement and the seller's property questionnaire to see if they have indicated any uh, deficiencies on the washer and dryer. Would you agree that those would be the safeguards for a home buyer to take a hundred percent i would agree with that a hundred percent okay very good uh, so um so just one more time before we depart because this is a little bit of a tricky subject i think uh what would be your summarizing words to the wise on washer and dryer coverage and home warranty well just remember that washer and dryer is an option so you want to make sure you get that optional coverage uh, if you're representing your client or if you're a homeowner listening to this video, ask for that additional option. Uh, it's not considered a built-in appliance, which warranty companies do cover your built-in appliances. Um, and we're refer referencing stoves, dishwashers, microwaves when we're talking about that, not washers and dryers. Excellent. Thank you for imparting that information. Raphael, if uh, realtors and or home buyers and or home sellers want to call you to order a, uh, a roof report, a termite report, a home inspection report, uh, how do they contact you? 
Absolutely. You can either call me or text me at 707-616-8762. Or you can email me at rbetancis.homegar.com. That's the letter R, my last name, at homegar.com. Rafael, thank you for being at the ready, being the home guard concierge, so to speak. Uh, Bob, thank you for your expertise. All you out there, thank you for looking at our video, and we will see you on the next video.